Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and credit card review video and I'll be presenting the TD Aeroplan Visa Platinum credit card which I have it right here. So I have had the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite credit card for a few times and then I wanted to get the TD Aeroplan Visa Platinum card uh, because of the promotion going on. And uh, due to the fact that I do not actually qualify for this uh, credit card because I'm uh, overqualified, so I applied for the TD Airplane Visa Infinite credit card and then I called TD to switch it to the TD Airplane Visa Platinum, which they did. And then uh, that's how I got this credit card. So today uh, I'm going to talk about the parts and features of this credit card and whether you should have this credit card or not. If you're looking for honest, non-affiliated and unbiased opinion uh, or reviews of credit cards, uh, you're not going to find them because 99.99% of the reviews you see online, they're affiliated and dishonest because they're working for the credit card companies and uh, they would like to make money off you by providing affiliated links. And for that reason, uh, you know, uh, if you have come to the honest and uh, unbiased opinion and uh, reviews then you have come to the right place so today i'll go through all of them one by one so the card came in a package just like this and i'm going to take out the whole uh, materials which are inside and i'm going to set this here so the credit card is in here in the first uh, folder and i'll just you know move this away and then we have uh, and information folder about the changes coming to this credit card starting uh, November 8. So the review I'm doing actually is going to be based on everything starting from November 8. Uh, so if you are looking at the review uh, later on, uh, this is going to be the updated review based on the November 8 changes. So I'm going to just set this aside here. Then we have a brochure, which is a TD card holder agreement and benefit coverage. So I'm going to cover the uh, basics uh, on my index card so I'll just you know set this aside here and then uh, we have another uh, information folder which describes basically you know the annual fee and then like you know the grace period and uh, foreign currency fee uh, stuff like that so I'll just uh, set this aside and then they attached another uh, brochure which is just you know giving you the outline of the changes which are coming to uh, November 8 so i'll just you know set this aside here so here we have uh, the index card and i'm just going to you know go through one by one based on uh, what's important so this card comes with uh, 89 dollars annual fee for the primary card holder and 35 dollars annual fee for each additional card holder and then the reward structure works this way you get one point or one airplane point uh, which used to be called airplane mile but now airplane point for every one dollar spent on gas grocery and air canada purchases and again this is as of november 8 and then you get one point for everything else so you can see that you know the reward structure is uh, not that great uh, so uh, definitely like and you can get better credit cards by just paying a little bit more uh, starting at $120 annual fee. So I don't see any reason to you know have this card. So let's move on to the next uh, What are the benefits of this card? So the insurances uh, Are very basic so the card uh, covers some basic insurances for example hotel motel burglary for $2,500 uh, each and then mobile device insurance $1,000 and then we have common carrier travel accident insurance uh, half million uh, delayed lost baggage uh, once you exceed six hours, uh, $1,000 uh, maximum. And then we have uh, purchase security and extended warranty uh, if it's over one hour after the, one year after the manufacturer's warranty. And then you have flight and trip delay insurance. This is not the flight and trip cancellation. This is just the delay, which is uh, has to exceed four hours and it's uh, $500 maximum. And then you have the auto rental and collision loss damage insurance. Again, for the details of the benefits, consult TD's website because you know these things can change when you are uh, looking at the review. So these are the very basics. Now let's look at what the card doesn't cover. So the first uh, major insurance the card doesn't cover is the no emergency medical travel insurance. So I strongly recommend not to accept any card which doesn't provide you uh, the medical uh, in, uh, emergency travel medical insurance which this card doesn't 
And then uh, it doesn't have any zero foreign currency transaction fee. Uh, so there's going to be a 2.5% charge whenever you're making purchases on any currency other than Canadian. It doesn't provide any concierge services and it doesn't provide any free lounge access or lounge passes and it doesn't cover trip cancellation and trip interruption insurance which is another uh, insurance uh, element which you should always uh, take uh, whenever you are having a, a travel credit card so if you have a travel credit card just look for trip cancellation interruption and no emergency and uh, emergency medical insurance these are a must for any travel uh, credit cards and then except that the card doesn't provide many other uh, perks and benefits but i'm not going to go into that in general most of the credit cards will not give you free lounge accesses or zero foreign currency transaction fee airplane credit cards are uh, not good at uh, providing parts and features uh, when it comes to even you know the visa infinite uh, series credit cards so for this card uh, due to the fact that the reward structure is poor and then the parts are not that great uh, my recommendation would be not to get this credit card unless you absolutely want to because you can uh, pay $120 and get a much better airplane earning uh, with more parks and benefits credit card out there. So for that reason, you know, this is definitely not a credit card I can recommend or uh, no one, you shouldn't have this uh, given the fact that you have access to the Visa Infinite Series or any other credit card which uh, gives you more access and more airplane rewards. And now the final part of the review, I'll show you the TD Airplan Visa Platinum credit card. So let's take this out of this folder. And here we have the TD Airplan Visa Platinum credit card. So that's the review of the TD Airplan Visa Platinum credit card. Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.